Hey everybody, welcome back to Modern Witch. I'm Devin Hunter, and this is another plant haul video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a couple of different vendors that I've been able to buy stuff from this spring. It's still really early. I'm recording this at the tail end of February. Um, and this stuff just came in. So let me tell you about ordering plants online during the middle of winter. Um, seems like a good idea. And sometimes it is a good idea. Sometimes it is not a good idea. And I ran into some problems actually because uh, it got cold and there was a snowstorm. Uh, if you're in Texas, you're very aware there was a snowstorm. And pretty much the whole South got blanketed. The USPS totally uh, just lost packages. I mean, I still have orders that I placed weeks ago that were shipped and just floating around. So there's like, I have some goniums that I'm waiting for. Um, three of them that are all in the same package, but haven't gotten it yet. I don't know if that's going to get here at all. Um, I ordered some aquatic plants to go into our aquariums. Those arrived uh, like five days late and they were just green slime. It was, so, you know, not always the best thing, um, but if you order online, you get it early. Um, then usually the way things go, if weather's not terrible, then you can actually get things going and by springtime you can start propagating, like in a month or two you can start propagating, usually. Um, so I like to get cuttings and things now so that in the springtime I can start taking care of those things. So that was the plan this year. That um, is probably not going to happen. That's okay. Um, I have plenty of things to keep me busy here in the plant world. But um, I was a little sad um, that some of the plants I'm going to show you today got nipped. It has nothing to do with the supplier or what they did. In fact, the, the, the sheer uh, ability for these plants to survive in a box for 10 to 14 days has everything to do with the vendor packaging them in a really good way and a smart way. Um, and so, yeah, so what you're going to see today, um, some of them were damaged and again, it's not the, it's not the, the person's fault. It is definitely just getting stuck at USPS. And again, usually this isn't a problem, but the weather just sucked. And so because the weather sucked, we ended up with this problem. So now another important thing to know is that all of these plants just got here, like within the last 48 hours. So some of them are, are transferring over. Actually, none of them are transferring to Lekka. They're all still kind of in nursery right now. Um, I did end up planting uh, one, but you'll see in a second. Okay, so the first one, uh, this first uh, group of plants comes from, uh, I'm going to just get the name right, Florida Plants Gardens. Um, and this is on Etsy again, Florida Plants Gardens. I'll put the linkage uh, down below. And she had all kinds of interesting stuff. She also does like reclaimed pottery, which is pretty neat. Um, and I ordered birthday presents because I got Pisces in my life and Pisces season is, is about to start. So um, actually it is started. We're in Pisces season now. So I really wanted to uh, make sure that I had plans to give to people and, and things like that. So the very first one is actually a birthday gift and I'm probably going to have to wait until this birthday is over before I post this video, which is just a cute little day. It's going to be fine. Um, but this is a Florida beauty and really pretty. So we had some problems. Let me show you. This happened a little singeing on the leaf. Um, I guarantee this happened due to cold in the box. It had nothing to do. And it, it had, there were heat packs and things. And nothing to do with the way she packed it. Um, it was just in there for a really long time. But it did come. It has new growth. So I'm excited about that new growth. And we're just going to see how it goes. But this is going to be a birthday present. And hopefully um, the person loves it as much as I do. I'm a big fan of this type of irrigation. Really big fan of it. So anyway, really pretty. It's a really fun plant. I just broke that leaf off that I was showing you. Mm. But it was crispy anyway, so it was going to go. Um, but just really pretty plant. And so I'm looking forward to potting that up and gifting that to my partner. Um, the next one is a Scandapsis. Uh, it's a silver satin Scandapsis. Um, and, or maybe just silver satin. It's not a pothos. I don't think it's a pothos. But it is part of the philodendron family. Um, and it's pretty popular right now. So we're seeing lots of people selling these pretty much everywhere. Um, and they're expensive. But this I got, and it was a deal. So I actually got both of these plants, I think, for 20 bucks plus shipping, which wasn't much. Um, and that is a steal, let me tell you. Because um, these, I'm selling, like, these two-inch pots right here, I'm seeing on Etsy and eBay and at some of the bigger stores online for upwards of, like, 30 bucks just for a little two-inch two thing. Now, 
five years ago, you could find these readily available and they were quite cheap. But now that we've got the, uh, the you know, the houseplant boom, so to speak, these are, these are getting expensive, hard to find. Um, so I, it was a steal, right? Two plants for, yeah, so it was a steal. So I got that. And then she actually sent me, so, so this was in the mail, right? So I would say, she contacted me and said, Hey, I realize this has taken a while to get to you because she's on, she's on top of her shit. Um, and so she's like, I just let you know, I am request, I requested a track down from the USPS. It's really, it all worked out really great. And then this stuff arrived, which is wonderful. Um, and not only were those two plants in there, but she gifted me with this, uh, I believe it's called a Royal Queen, um, philodendron. And I am a philodendron slut. So... <laughs> I love philodendrons, um, and I just think this is just really pretty. So if you look, there's that nice kind of orangish red underneath, green on top, sexy. Okay, so that all came from, again, that's Florida Plants uh, Gardens, Florida Plants Gardens on Etsy. Great stuff, I was very pleased, very happy. She was really responsive, she took care of me. Gotta raise the roof on that one, um, badass. So. That's the first one for today. So this next plant came from, I'm gonna make sure I get this right, Ah Berries Plants on eBay. And I, it has been on my list for about nine months to get. And I knew I was gonna end up getting stuff in the spring, so I wasn't really worried about it. And usually, just so everybody knows, you can find plants cheaper in the springtime uh, because people have been propagating and that's when your plants start to go crazy. So anyway, so I was just waiting to get this and it was really expensive everywhere. I would check and um, we're looking at $50 for a six inch pot, like crazy, crazy expensive. So I've just been kind of waiting and um, I stumbled upon it. I actually didn't know that this particular variety uh, existed until recently, so it's been on my list and I've just been waiting and waiting. Uh, we all know the ZZ plant. Um, this is a ZZ Raven. So I'm going to show you those leaves. So they come out green like a regular ZZ, like bright green, and then they fade to this dark, almost black. And so I'm really excited. I just potted this today, um, but I'm really excited about this. This came from um, uh, Ah berries plants, uh, ah berry plant, right? Yes, ah berries plants uh, on eBay, and so I got the first one, and it was actually this little guy. Let me show you. So this guy came. He was actually he had more, um, but he snapped in transit, and so I didn't. I wasn't like trying to get a free plant. Shit happens, whatever. So I emailed her. And I said, "Hey, this broke. Um, it, how do I propagate this? Because I know that that they're easy to propagate." Um, but I also don't want to like, there wasn't a lot to work with. So I, I wanted to know exactly how to do it. And so I sent her a picture and I said, Hey, I'm not looking for a free plant. I just need to know how to propagate this. What is your advice? And she gave me advice on how to do it and then said, Hey, I'm going to send you a free plant. So I ended up with this bigger ZZ, uh, Raven because she's just a, an awesome person. And so she sent it to me. So I was like, Oh, well, I'm going to do a plant haul video and I'll totally talk to you or talk about you. Really cool stuff. So beautiful plant. I just going to show you this again, just because I'm in love with it. This is the Raven ZZ. And there's all this new growth coming up on this one that I got. I'm just, there is a replacement, which is bigger, by the way, than the original plant that I bought. So amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. And I thought this pot was cool too. Um, it has this really interesting design. And I thought with this, like, I don't know, textural as the ZZ tends to be, it would go good in this kind of split kind of top. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, so that happened and she's really cool. She was really sweet. Um, she's got a really, a lot of really cool stuff on her eBay. So definitely check it out again, links below. Um, I'm a fan and again, thank you so much for just being a good seller and being, um, somebody who was like responsible. Amazing. So anyway, she was really great. I didn't want a new plant. I wasn't looking for it. I did want a new plant, but I wasn't looking for it. She sent it to me and I'm just grateful because now I'm going to have this, this beautiful pot. And I have a couple of leaves over there that hopefully will propagate and I'll have this whole pot will be full in a couple of, of months. So yay. So anyway, very cool. Uh, ah, berries, plants on eBay. Check them out. Okay. So this next plant, uh, or, or a couple of plants actually, come from Janie's Backyard, which is a store on Etsy. And I actually didn't order these. This is a friend of mine on Twitter who um, has just been following me and my plant craziness and my fungal craziness um, over the past year or so. And I guess she just saw that I was talking extra, extra about a certain particular type of plant. 
um, called the Syngonium. I'm, I'm a big Syngonium fan. Um, I, I know I just said I was a slut for philodendrons, but I'm, I'm a big slut for Syngoniums. So um, I put uh, I, on my wish list, I had a Syngonium potophyllum albo variegata. Um, which I will show you because it came in, uh, but I but that was on my list. So it's a special syngonium, and any of the albo uh, versions of plants are gonna uh, variegate white, and so th there's a potential to have white leaves and, and half moon, a half new. Just really cool stuff. We'll show in a second, um, and it's a really gorgeous plant. I love syngoniums. Um, they're called arrowhead vines. They not all of them vine out, but um, they they get really bushy, and they're just really pretty. They're a really neat plant. And this particular version of a Syngonium um, has a, a particular leaf shape that's really fascinating. So on top of it being um, the albo, which is a rare thing, the the specific Syngonium potophyllum it has this gorgeous leaf structure. And so I was just talking about how I how I wanted to get um, a Syngonium potophyllum albo variegata off of eBay because I had seen one go up that was like reasonable priced and it was a cutting that was rooted. And I'm not a big fan of buying cuttings that aren't rooted. So like that's a thing we'll talk about at some point too. I've done it. I did it with my, I have a Burl Marks up here um, that I, I got as a cutting. So freaking slow getting that sucker going. Um, it has taken a long time and the roots are just now like at a decent place and it's been... I gotta say eight weeks, nine weeks. Like it's been a really slow time getting this is going. So anyway, I digress. Um, but anyway, so I really love Syngoniums. They're, they're one of my favorite um, uh, tropical species that we can we can find. Um, anyway, so I was talking about on Twitter how I wanted to get the special version of it. Uh, and she emailed me and she said, hey, do you have a regular version? And I was like, well, no, I don't actually. Um, she said, let me send you something. So she sent me some plants, really beautiful plants. And I'm going to show you now. Um, and I, and again, this, she doesn't even know I'm doing this video. Like this is just, just me being so grateful that she, this is just me being so grateful that she sent those to me that I wanted to share with you guys. But, um, I totally would have bought them. Like had I, had I, had I known the store existed, I would have seen it and I would have totally would have bought this stuff because it's really great stuff. So we're going to talk about her stuff first and then we'll get into um, the, the big, big, interesting elbow that I got. Anyway, it's not really big. It's actually kind of tiny, but we'll get there. So the very first thing, um, so again, this is from Janie's Apothecary and this is the Syngonium potophyllum. Um, and if you see these leaves and as it gets older, the leaves are going to get broader up through this section and they and it, it, it's a really gorgeous shape but this will these will kind of come up like that so it's really pretty so this is the well not the newest because something came in right after it but um this is one of the newest syngoniums in my collection and i was talking about this on uh facebook and twitter uh, today actually that i feel very much that our last night it was full moon it's full moon i'm recording this over the full moon and I was, um, I talked to the plants and I've got a whole thing with elephant ears, which we'll, we're gonna, I'm doing a whole video on working with elephant ears and magic. Um, but I was talking to the arrowheads last night and just in love with this, the shape of the leaves, it's so pretty. And I was getting this like green moonstone vibe from it, which was a really interesting thing. So I haven't gotten a chance to work with it. This is my first, like last night was my first kind of chit chat with them. Um, so I will get there, I will do that, but it has really interesting energy and I'm looking forward to seeing how this one develops. Um, and I have a suspicion just based on looking at those roots that, cause I'm gonna transfer it to LECA, um, which is semi-hydroponic, it's like clay pebbles. Um, I have some stuff on LECA I can show you. Um, but so yeah, so I'm gonna transfer it to LECA and that should very much speed up the growth. And again, we're, we're hitting spring. I'm in Northern California, so our growth seasons are longer. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens out of this. So thank you so much. This is just such a gift. It was a blessing to receive. And so if you see this video from the bottom of my heart, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, in that, there was also this, which is an Alocasia gigantica or gigantium. Uh, it's a big old ass elephant ear and it's a baby. So this is started from a seed. Um, and I'm assuming it's a seed. Um, Really, really, I love olive and ears, as I said. This is gonna grow up to be very, very big. So this was a gift from her as well. And I actually don't have this variety. I have a couple of, of different elephant ears actually here and around. 
Um, and we're gonna, we have a whole elephant ear project for the backyard this year. We'll see how all that works out. But um, this is gonna be fun to grow indoors. And so, because it likes boggy, it likes it really humid. And I, I have that going on in here. So this is gonna be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this grows. And of course, I'll keep y'all updated on as it happens. Um, okay, so the other thing that she sent me, I'm just gonna grab, I have it over there in my, with my Saracenias, which we'll do a videos on my Saracenias when they start opening up. Um, but this is a fern. I actually don't remember what type of fern this is. Um, she sent me a PDF on it, uh, but this is some, this is a rare fern. And so she sent me some of the feet, um, which was very nice. So this is going to stay over in the very humid section of the room. And um, I'm just, it's really cool. So we'll see how this goes. My partner is more of a fern person. I've only been able to keep like three ferns alive my whole life. Um, that are like this type of fern. So, but I love ferns. Ferns are super trippy. They, um, the the way that they uh, propagate and the way that they spread and grow is amazing. They do it through spores like mushrooms. Um, so it's it's really neat. Ferns are really cool. Um, anyway, so that came from her. And again, that's Janie's Backyard on Etsy. Go check it out. Really good quality stuff. And you know, the other thing too is people send me stuff all the time, like just random stuff. And it's not usually good stuff this was good stuff. Like she sent me like good quality plants um, on the mice. So yeah, go check her out. Okay. So this is, this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one that I am super stoked about. It cost me a pretty penny um, for a plant. I, I am not uh, somebody who spends a lot of money necessarily on plants. If I do, well, that's, I, I've totally, it's a lie because I've spent ridiculous amounts of money this spring so far on, on plants. But, um, Usually that's not the case. Usually I'm like, let's propagate it. Let's da 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 da. But I went kind of crazy this year. Um, and I am going to slow down because my room is full. My space is full. I've achieved the filling of the studio, which is great. Um, and now it's just about propagating, taking care of babies and, and all that good stuff. But um, this is, so this comes from Hawaiian Tropical Flowers on eBay. And this is the amazing Syngonium Potophyllum Albo Variegata. So you see this leaf, my, I have really warm light on right now, um, the, but this is, this is quite bright, this is quite bright white. Um, there's one with some more variegation, which is really pretty. Here's a full white leaf that's coming on, which is pretty amazing. And there's another good leaf with some variegation. So I was a little worried because when you buy the, and you buy any albos, one of the things that um, ha can vary, anything that's, anything that's variegated can unvariegate. And one of the things that we know about this particular plant is that though it is considered to be one of the more stable, um, it can totally revert. And so the internet is full of Syngoniums that have reverted um, back to being this. So these are the same, same plant. This is just the Alba Variegata version. So these will revert back to this. And so um, I was a little nervous and so the way there's ways of looking at it, um, when you're buying them to, cause you'll know, basically the variegation starts to fade as you get new leaves, there'll be less and less variegation. So I was a little worried when I saw, was it this leaf? Um, I was like, oh no, but the, I saw that it had this, what's called a half noon, uh, not half moon, half noon. It's, it's, uh, it's like a clock makes a half the leaf, right? So anyway, so this is a half noon and I, this was a good thing. We want this, but if, if they start doing this, full leaf thing um, where it's white, that can be too much too, because you don't want it the leaf to be fully white because it's fully white, it can't do the whole photosynthesis thing. It's just, it, it, there's no green there. So it this is more for, this is totally us. This is us messing with nature. <laughs> this isn't a natural thing um, that happened. This is breeders doing it, but um, it's really pretty and I like it, so I'm gonna keep it and it was mine. It's mine, I want it on an auction, it's mine. Um, but this is really pretty. And then it's still in its original packaging. Um, cause again, I just got it today. Um, but I am going to, again, just like with my other one, I'm going to put this in LECA and we'll see how it goes, but this should get quite big. And I fully believe that with a little TLC, um, I'm going to have quite a really pretty Syngonium Albo Varigata, Syngonium Potophyllum Albo Varigata. Okay, well, that is it for me for today. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you check out the awesome vendors who I talked about today uh, in this video. And join me next time and we will be talking about crystals and maybe some more plants.